morning guys. Day two of horse camp. And I'm so disorganized. So disorganized. And it's starting to rain. And I have lessons today. But I have hopes that today is just going to turn out amazing. You know, sometimes you just have a sluggish start. And I was gonna put my shoes on in the car because we were going to be late. And then I walked outside to a bunch of hay. So you have no shoes? No, they're in there. They're in the car? He's my enemy. Right, put it all in there. We left our cooler of water in dad's truck, so we had to get another cooler. I forgot to load the freezer full of ice water. Gabby forgot her lunch bag. Gabby did not know how to work the GoPro yesterday, but it's all fixed up now. Because, Careful. Like, it's on my head. I don't know which one. Oh, okay. So put it on before. So I can only feel the top. I didn't oh, okay. know that. All right, there was don't a push it now. Okay, we got it? Yeah. We got it. So there should be some footage of Gabby jumping two feet. And Sophie. No. Jumping okay. two. five feet. It feels like you're galloping, but then you're going like. She it feels said that. Like you're going boom. She said Gabby. But then you're actually going. She said Gabby hand galloped yesterday. that we've been married, I still get excited when I see Sam come home early. Cause now like, I might have the whole day with him. I have no idea why he's home. Did he need to come to the barn with us. No, he's dropping us off. Daddy! Come drop us off! How come you're home? All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Great, I'm driving. I never drive Sam. <laughs> How come you're home? And I'm in the front! <laughs> How come you're home? like that girls are gone and Sam and I what are we doing today Sam I have to go to the trailer because I all of get Sophie's riding pants are at the trailer half of our clothes are at the trailer all Sophie's backpacks are at the trailer so yeah the other day I was talking about how I it would be awesome if Sam was home all the time the problem is that when Sam's home all the time he makes everything fun and distracts me and I get no work done so the problem is when Laura's home all the time he gets no relaxation <laughs> True. I want to relax. Should, should have been home yesterday because I was relaxing. But I cannot shape, shake this sleepiness. Like, I have this sleepy thing that's bought, that's driving. Last night when we got home from helping Nick, I legitimately laid down on my bed and couldn't wake up. I was breaking yesterday about how much energy I have, and I had no energy. <laughs> slept away from home last night. It was his first night in his own apartment. When I started YouTube, I wanted to do it so badly and all my family were like, don't do it. Don't do it. It will be embarrassing. Don't do it. You're gonna suck. Everyone except for Nick. Nick not only supported me, but he helped me. He helped Sam and I learn to edit, learn to do so much, and now he's gone gone to his own house and I'm so excited for him and this new journey with a new baby and a new house, but it's just gonna be sad. Hey, my name is, and over the next little while, I'm gonna be helping my mom with a project that she really wants to do and that she's gonna be doing a vlog right here on this channel. And the reason that I need to help her is because 
she's not really the sharpest tool in the shed, and she probably needs all the help she can get. Hi. How do I zoom in? Nick, how do I zoom in on this camera? But anyway, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give a little bit of backstory on our channel and our vlog. So we the channel's called Day by Day because the name of our vlog was taken. So I cannot have them match it. But also it's, you know, take your life day by day. Just like we're gonna do. Live live in the moment. Love love your life, live the dream, you know? He's coming back soon to pick up the last of his stuff and then he's gonna be gone. I just wanna say thanks Nick for everything. He's always been such a huge supporter and I wanna take this opportunity to tell you guys that no matter what you wanna do, no matter what anybody else says, go for your dreams. Just keep going and going and going and every time you meet somebody who says no, you can't do it, just keep trying harder because you will get there. I do this thing where if I see something, I take note of it. If I see it again, I'm like, wait, is God trying to tell me something? If I see it a third time, then I'm like, okay, God's telling me something. Today, when I was at the trailer, every time I turned around, I saw an umbrella. I was like, okay, I'm bringing it with me. So now, luckily, I have an umbrella in the car because it's pouring. Hey, girlies. What? I'm riding storm. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, honey. She's she's moving faster. Like for any of you guys that are freaking out in the comments and saying you're riding a lame horse, get off the horse. We're doing what our vet directed. Like right or wrong, he won't assess her again until we do the things that he's he said to do, so my hands are tied. Oh, you got soaked? How was camp? Did you jump two feet? No. Oh, not yet? Two inches. You jumped two inches? 22 You jumped 22 inches? That's, that's good. I almost jumped two feet. Hi, he's like, hey, I know you. Hi. All right, this is Chloe's new horse. People want to meet him. His name is Indy. Indy. Yeah, his name is Indy. Indy. And then his butt. He is an Appaloosa now. Yeah, he He's is. A total he. Whoops. He is an appendix, which is a quarter horse thoroughbred. But He's now he's an Appaloosa. Eleven years old. Oops. Eleven years old, and he was a flea bitten gray. Like these are brown spots, aren't they gorgeous? Um, but now he's an Appaloosa, based on the fact that he has massive. Spots everywhere. Anyway, he is 15.3 hands high, gorgeous. And the one thing you guys don't know about him is that he jumps like five feet. Like Chloe is 12 and she jumps this high. Like I'm not even joking. And when you watch them jump, he, he, he's like flat out, like he soars. Mom, I need to tell you something. Come up here. Um, we had to run. You had to what? Round up pigs. They got free text was having a fit. I You had to round up the pigs because they got free? Oh my god. Was it the most fun? Yes. At horse camp we just don't wrangle horses, we wrangle pigs too. <laughs> That's so funny. One pig, it was the pink ish one. Pink white one. What's his name? Pink white. Yeah, it's like the white one, but you can see a skin that's pink. What? How many pigs did you have to catch? Just two. Two. Oh, that's so fun. Storm, why do you always have a dirty nose? Like, you remind me of Sophia. Oh, it's a cut. Yeah. Okay, oh, so he's 11 years old, but the vet thinks that he's younger than 11 by his teeth. And our vet is really good at judging. Okay, I made a mistake. Chloe has jumped three six on this horse and it looks amazing one day she was jumping in her lesson and all the parents were there chloe has jumped three three on this horse and it seems really low but it was amazing one day all the parents were here and we were watching we're like this all of us just staring the whole place was quiet because it looked like they were just flying he's he's a good he's a good horse and this is the carnage of camp this is what i come back to at camp what the gopro won't turn off what? Even though it's not recording, no. the, GoPro the GoPro fell off. Never mind. 
I'm soft. Uh, did you? I videoed it all. You videoed your jumping? Yeah, but I don't know how well it looked. Because it 22 like inches? Yes. That's almost two feet, Gabby. Yeah, how tall, how high did you jump? 22 um, inches. <laughs> oh, good job. Right. Have you ever really hugged a horse before? Like really hugged one? Somebody suggested recently that I hug Stella because I have nothing I can give her. I have, she's sore and I have no food I can give her. She can't have food. So I tried hugging her like this and then my glasses were banging into her. She's like, get off of me. And then it just was awkward. And then finally I went like this to hug her and she hugged me back. It was like super powerful, like the most amazing feeling ever. Almost makes me want to cry because I've never had a horse hug me back like that. Look at one. One, two, Mom, three, four, five look. horses. Look what dad got me. I know. Even though I'm full. What about Sophie? You got a cookie too? Oh, you got a white one? No, they're both the same. Oh. You're keeping me on. I'm strapped in, stuck in a song. You can't turn off like a miracle. You can keep your bum in the saddle, put your vest down, and then go back up. 
Good, and then up. And down. Oh, Push your bum backwards when you do it. That way you stay in the saddle. And down. Yeah, and up. And down. Bum in the saddle, chest down. Notice how you can do that and you're not gonna fall because your balance is in your butt and your heels. As long as you keep your weight, tap them with your weight. Thank you. As long as you keep your weight in your butt and your heels, you should be able to bend your upper body wherever you want. Take a breather. Cantering. And we're going to hold that thinking mane, right? All right. Way far upwards long. Grab his mane. Two, one. Ooh. All right, so remember, keep those hands down and he'll keep going. Tap, tap, at now. At now, wow. Look, turn, lightsy. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Yeah, good girl. Come again. Use your elbows to hold your vest on your side. Squeeze your elbows. Yes, woo. You all right? Well, what are you doing lying Not down even a tear on Let's you. go. Get up, man. This way, take yeah, your time. Give a breather. Let all the adrenaline leave you and then you'll see if there's anything that hurts. Okay? Can you move everything? Does anything hurt? Does one thing hurt? Where you hit, yeah. yeah. Luckily for you, you landed on the, the biggest part of your body. You got lots of fat there, protect That's your bones. Exactly. You know the best part? Best part to land video. on. Nice, so you can watch it. Like bouncing off the wall, watch it. You can watch it. Can you pull your knees up, honey? Yeah, yeah, good, there you go. Lay it flat on your back, that way your pelvis is a little straighter. There you go. Whenever you're ready, we can get up, okay? Just take your time. Let's go get up, man, there you go. Good job. <laughs> That's the best. Mm -hmm. the best, freaking. <laughs> Not a girl. Better you than me, because I'm old. Better you than me. <laughs> so I'm old, and I'll, I'll probably never get back up. So I have to ask the question. Yeah. Are you going to the hospital, or are you getting back on? Back on. girl. Put the rest back on. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's scary, right? Hey, she wants but to you jump. did it already. She's been asking me, but can I just walk now? But she said, can we lower the jump? All right, let's do it. It's a pretty good deal, I think. So you don't need this? So the reason you fell was why? Because you lost your stirrup? Right. Yeah, she jumped with no stirrup. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You held on really good. Wait till you see it. If your dad caught it, because your dad likes to do this. <laughs> I think I caught it this time. You? But your arm doesn't hurt at all? All right, get your back best back on. You need your vest for a crossbow. Yes, we do, because uh, we'll be a little shaky. Can I get on another? Yes, get on and then we'll put it on. Did you see that? Yeah, I stood up. Did you stop? Oh, you're on my shoes. like mom. What? She I was like, mom. There's no service. <laughs> Yeah, and then all of a sudden I wouldn't laugh because it could happen to you. Could happen to I'd you. I'd rather that at horse camp with the GoPro on. Yeah, that would be cool. But they 
don't let them yeah. know that it's wrapped around. Oh, okay, but they just have to make it. Good job, so. watching your kid fall like you never like and then you fake it you fake it like I thought for sure she broke her arm I, I I saw her hit her shoulder and her arm was bent like like this and I thought for sure she was going to the hospital